hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching today i will be making some large dollar tree home decor diys using these signs i recently found at the dollar tree i found this one in black brown and in white so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you do please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you can get notified every time i upload with that being said now let's craft. Starting with my favorite project from Dollar Tree, I will be using two of these large decor signs. I'm using the black ones and I'm using this eight feet long unfinished natural wood pine molding. I will be making a Z design. So I am going to just cut these to size. I did use my little saw that I have. And look how beautiful this looks now honestly you can just glue this on here without painting it I wish I would have done that because it looks so much beautiful like this I will be painting mine using this apple barrel acrylic paint in black Once the pieces were dry, I will be gluing them to my sign. Now, I didn't uh, put these together with like popsicle sticks on the back. I just use whatever I'm adding on top of it to glue them together. Now, you can add popsicle sticks on the back for extra support, but I felt like this was enough. And look how beautiful this looks. Now I will be making a wreath to go on there. I'm using this one right here from the Dollar Tree. It is like a square beaded one. They do have like the uh, round ones, but I'm using the square one. I will be adding some of this Walmart boxwood greenery. Using a piece of jute twine, I'm going to just tie this to the wreath and I am going to leave a space in between so I can add a bow. Using this Dollar General burlap ribbon, I will be making a double bow. Now Dollar Tree does carry burlap ribbon that you can use instead. I did leave some extra string so I can tie the bow to the wreath. B 
Before I add my wreath, I will be adding this sawtooth hook on the back. Using a smaller ribbon, I will be cutting a piece so then I can add this as the hanger. Instead of adding like a little hook on my sign, I am going to just glue it to the back. And that is it. Look how beautiful this turned out. For my next project, I will be using three of the large white Dollar Tree signs and this two-piece wash shelf that I also got from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to just cut the little shelves um, the size of the decor signs using my saw, I was going to say saw tooth, <laughs> but my jigsaw. After I cut them, I'm going to paint them using some white acrylic paint. I will be removing the little hangers from the sign. I usually tend to cut off the little parts where the holes are at, but this time I'm going to leave them. And then I'm going to flip them to the other side because I will be gluing the little shelf parts. On one of them, I will be gluing one on each side using hot glue. For more reinforcement, I will be adding some of these Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. I'm going to just add them more towards the bottom part or like more towards the end because this is also going to help um, for the bottom part. Hopefully that made sense. But anyways, after I'm done adding these pieces of Jenga blocks, I'm going to add the other side. And this is how it looks so far. It looks a little bit bent because the signs were bent, but I'm going to fix that. Now I'm going to just add some Jenga blocks all the way around the bottom part. For the bottom, you can use another of the Dollar Tree signs, but instead of me wasting this beautiful one, I'm going to use this other one which I will be reusing. It is the same size, but this one does have a pumpkin, but I will be gluing like a paper or something for that. And this is how it looks once I am done adding it. And that is it guys. The last thing I did was just paint like the top part white so it can blend in with the other ones and then add some greenery. The greenery I'm using is this one from Walmart is this boxwood one, which with five of these picks, you can fill the entire thing. I didn't have five of them, so I just grabbed other greenery that I have to fill it in. Now, you can leave it like that. I decided to add some little thumbtacks in the front, some white ones that I had to cover the little holes. You can also add wording to this. that is it guys look how beautiful this boxwood planter turned out For my next project, I will be using one of the brown decor signs and these beautiful metal little buckets that I recently found at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use two of them and I was going to use these hooks and I'm going to show you 
how I used them, but the back or the little screw part was way too big, so I ended up using some of the Dollar Tree clear hooks. Now I'm going to start by decorating the buckets using some of this jute twine. Now I'm going to make some jute twine bows and add them to the buckets. Now I'm going to add the little metal hooks that I do end up not using, but I did wanted to show you how they look. They actually look so much nicer. I wish the little screw part wasn't that long. This is how the back looks. Now I tried to cut it off, but it was impossible. I think my little cutting wire thing wasn't strong enough, or I wasn't. But anyways, instead of using those little screw hooks, I use these clear ones that I got from the Dollar Tree. I will be adding two of them and then adding the little buckets. For the greenery, I will be using this one from Walmart. And that is it, guys. Look how beautiful this one turned out. For my next project, I will be using two of these black decor signs, which I am going to attach together using some pieces of Dollar Tree wood. I will be adding some of these bamboo sticks on the sides just to cover the little holes on the side. And I am going to just cut these to size and glue them. I will be adding this welcome sign that I got last year from Hobby Lobby. It says $3.99, but I got it for like under $2 because it was 60% off. I didn't paint none of like the bamboo sticks or the welcome sign because I feel like this looks good like this. But that is it. Look how beautiful this large welcome sign turned out. that is it for these beautiful large dollar tree home decor diys i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye